I'm Alex Barnaschelli from the set of The Kitchen, and today I'm making a dish inspired by the high roller steakhouses of Las Vegas. This is my minute steak with quickie cognac sauce, because in Vegas, anybody can become a high roller in just one minute. In this recipe, the steak is cut thin and pounded. It's called a minute steak because of its quick cooking time. Let's get started. First, I'm gonna heat a cast iron pan with a little bit of canola oil in it and get that going. Couple tablespoons. Next, I've got my sirloin steak. This is about a 12 ounce piece of sirloin and I'm gonna pound it thin with the smooth edge of a mallet. Now I start from the center and move out. We're pounding this thin, we're tenderizing it, we're making it Vegas size, really big. You wanna pound evenly on all sides so that the steak is uniform. I, I think of my mom's veal cutlets when I was a kid, it can get this big. Now traditional minute steaks are more like four to five ounces, so we're making a bigger one for two people. Okay. You see I just covered this with a sheet of plastic to protect the meat from the direct hits of the mallet. And you can see what the minute steak looks like now. It looks like a serious minute steak for two, maybe three. So you got half an eye on that oil that's heating up. And we just season this generously on both sides with salt and pepper. It's really important when you're cooking meat of any kind to season it on both sides, right? You got two kids? You gotta give them both love, not just one. Generous salting, don't be afraid. Beef just begs for salt. I've got my oil in my pan smoking hot. Until you see smoke, wait. As Soon as you see it, pick up your minute steak and drop it squarely in the middle of the pan and wait for that sizzle. Isn't that beautiful? Sounds like a Vegas steak, right? All right, so we drop that in and we start to brown it on the first side. We're gonna only cook this steak two, three minutes on each side tops and then just let it rest and build a sauce. Now what about that sauce? For it, we're gonna do a classic ingredient with meat, one of my favorites, just some shallots. Three shallots to be exact that I'm just gonna peel and mince now, I love a recipe like this. And when I say quickie, what I mean by that is while you're cooking the steak, you're building all the ingredients for your sauce and you're making it all in one pan. So we are gonna mince three medium shallots. This is really something you can do on a weeknight. One pan, pound your steak, cook it, make a little sauce, fantastic. So I've peeled the shallots and I think we're about ready to flip our steak, so let's do that, this is fun. I like to move the steak a little bit around in the pan, soak up all that grease, that good cast iron love, grab underneath it with a pair of tongs, and flip it over. So we're on our second side, and we're gonna mince some shallots. These are some pretty big ones. I said three shallots. To me, that's about three shallots worth. them into a little mince. Mmm. Smells like dinner in here. And then... I love kind of racing against the steak to make everything for the sauce. It's a motivator. Okay. Mince. We're mincing. We want a lot of shallots. The sauce in this gets a lot of its actual texture from the shallots cooking down in the pan where you cook the steak. Mince, mince, mince. You hear that steak sizzling in the background. Delicious, I love it. Now let's have a look here. Ooh. I love all the grease and that good beef flavor that's in this pan now. We've got a nice sear on that second side. Put it on a little board and let it rest. This is perfect. You've got that built-in rest time while you make your sauce. We've got some grease in here that I want to use to make the sauce, but I'm gonna pour off a little bit of it. We don't want that sauce to be super greasy. We just want all the good sugars in the pan and the flavor 
from the beef. And drop those shallots right in there. Ooh la la. Now, we're making a sauce. So the first thing you want to do, once you add the shallots, is just a tiny bit of butter. Not even a tablespoon. Maybe a little more than a tablespoon. And a pinch of salt. The salt will help the shallots start giving off their water and prevent them from burning while they just slowly cook. Can you just see this? I mean, you can kind of see the sauce. So we're gonna cook these shallots for two or three minutes. So the thing about a weeknight meal like this is I always wanna add something that makes it a little bit special. And shallots have a milder flavor than actual onions. They're sweeter. They almost have a hint of garlic to them. I'm gonna add about a quarter cup of cognac. So we're gonna add that cognac. Pull it off the heat just for safety. And put it back on and let it flame. Now, don't panic. I know it's easy for me to say, right? There's a giant flame in your kitchen. Don't panic. Don't panic, because look, once that alcohol burns out, and most of it will, not all of it, the flame just dies out. So just step back and then relax. Okay, so that cognac and that butter and those shallots are kind of simmering in there. That's what we call deglazing a pan because putting that liquid in there pulled up all the sugars and everything on the bottom of the skillet. My natural thickener of choice, a little bit of mustard, just about a tablespoon. Mustard has a natural thickening property called lecithin. And let me tell you, this is what gives your sauce a lot of body. Now, I do get questions a lot about whether you do or don't want to use alcohol. If you're cooking for your kids, or you don't want to cook with alcohol at all, you can simply substitute a quarter cup of vinegar, your favorite kind, apple cider, um, and just cook it down just as I did the cognac and skip the liquor. For a little bit of brightness and acidity, I'm gonna add a tablespoon of red wine vinegar. Everything that goes in the pan just sizzles, I love that. And half a cup of beef stock. Mm. We've got the shallots, right? You know, I have like a lot of cousins in my family and we all get along. When I have shallots, I invite their cousin chives over to be part of the same dish. I kind of like it. It's like an onion family dinner party. Just mince some chives. You can also just cut little chive matchsticks with a scissor, if you like. Notice how I cut the shallots, I made the sauce, now I'm letting the sauce reduce and I'm cutting the garnish and the steak is ready. I love a meal like this. You don't sit still at all. Every minute counts and you get a really tasty dish. This is like date night material, people. I'm talking you're getting a second date if you make this on your first. Okay, that should be about enough. Give it a stir. Let that mustard, those shallots just come together. Now notice our steak has been resting and the juices have had time to flow back through the meat. Right? If you got your meat resting on a board, guess what? Drop those juices right in your sauce. That's the secret sauce. Okay. At this point, you really wanna taste your, your liquid just to see where you're at. Mmm. I like that mustard in there, shallots. And that cognac's like this little layer of fancy, you know, like, when you have a jacket that has like velvet lining on the inside. That's what cognac is like. Okay. You just wanna get that nice thickness. Can you see that? Now you can do one of two things. You can serve the steak whole with the sauce on the side, or you can glaze the meat in the sauce. I kinda like that. Do you wanna do that? Let's do that. I'm gonna put this meat right back in here just to warm it up, right? It's been resting and you spoon the sauce and the shallots, stop it, right? I know. I see it, you feel it. Right over that steak, look at that. Let's slice some. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Trying to think how we should slice this. Maybe I'll hold it with a fork. Slice some steak. Who's not hungry? All you have to do is say I'm cooking a steak and people come over. So that's one portion, or maybe I would eat this whole thing if you weren't watching right now. I might. So this is a steak for two, but if you, you know, maybe you give that some thought. We'll put that 
right on a beautiful platter. I love that this one has so much that vibrant green color. And then we come here and we just spoon the rest of this really great sauce right over top. It has so much texture. It's almost like the sauce becomes a side dish. Ooh la la. Some chives on top. It's nice, the chive flavor will reinforce the shallots that are inside that sauce. Chives also make savory dishes just taste that little bit more savory. Look at that, a steak for one, two. Two people. Let's give it a taste though, because the proof is in the pudding, right? Especially in a place like Vegas where everybody's a high roller, you know, and got really high standards. You gotta make sure, and look at that. Can you see that? The way the sauce and the steak come together. So hot. Mm. I love that this is not an expensive cut of meat. That touch of cognac, those chives, those shallots, that's what makes a sirloin steak that's super affordable. Just have that Vegas vibe. Delicious. This is my minute steak with quickie cognac sauce. I hope you enjoy it. Mm -mm. I'm gonna be, I'll see you guys later.